Hello children, today I am back now this time with geography. Now today we are going to do the basics of geography that is the first thing that we learn is about latitudes and longitudes. When we look at a map or a globe, what is a globe? A globe is the miniature of the earth. It shows us the physical features of the earth in a broad way, not minute but broadly. It then another thing it tells us is about the axis and the movement of the earth that we study when we look at a globe. Now children, when we look at the globe or a map, what do we find? We find in it many horizontal and vertical lines. What are these horizontal, what are these horizontal and vertical lines? These are the lines of latitude and longitude. The horizontal lines are the parallels of latitude. Now what is a parallel? A parallel lines are lines that never meet. They are equidistance that is equal distance from each other and they never meet. And then when we look at these, what do we find the most important latitude is the zero degree line of latitude which is which is called the equator. It divides the earth into two equal halves the northern hemisphere which is towards the north of the equator and the southern hemisphere which is to the south of the equator. After this what do we find? We have 23 and a half degrees north and 23 and a half degrees south. These two lines of latitude are called the Tropic of Cancer. This is the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. Then we have children, the 66 and a half degrees lines of latitude north and south of the equator, which are the Arctic Circle to the north and the Antarctic Circle to the south. Besides this now, these are the most important lines of latitude. There are 180 lines of latitude. Then we have the longitudes. What are the longitudes? These are lines which run north to south from the North Pole to the South Pole. Like the lines of latitude were parallel, these lines are not parallel. They are very close at the poles and as they move away from the poles, they become broader and broader. The most important line of longitude is the zero degree line of longitude which is also known as the prime meridian. Now, it passes through Greenwich, so it is also known as the GMT or the Greenwich Mean Time. All the times throughout the world are, are we calculate them according to this line of longitude. Another very important line of longitude is the 180 degrees east. It is neither east nor west. Why? Because it, it is a common line for the east and west. It is the international date line. Now, wh why is it important? Because Children, if we go to the west from this line, if we are in Australia and we go to America from Australia, what do we do? We gain a day. But if we come from America to Australia, we lose a day. So this line is very important. Another thing important about this line is that it is not a straight line. It is a line which is crooked. Why? Because it does not pass through any land. It only passes through water. Otherwise, the time or the date on that, if it passes through Australia, a part of Australia, what would happen? Half of Australia would be in the western and half would be in the eastern hemisphere. Then there would be a lot of problems. So it does not pass through any land. Then children, we have, now we have the we have 360 lines of longitude and 180 lines of latitude. We have the axis. What is the axis, children? It is an imaginary line on which our earth rotates. And because of this, this line is very important because it is not a straight line as you can see over here. This is the axis and when you look at the globe, is it straight? No, it is tilted to one side. So this globe is tilted on its axis at 23 and a half degrees. And so this axis then, the earth is rotating on its axis and this rotation, what does it tell us? It gives us day and night, which I am going to do in the next lesson.